Now available in paperback and Kindle, All About Marilyn. Learn all about the struggles of a faded former teen sitcom star in this absolutely fabulous five-star screenplay. Get All About Marilyn in paperback and Kindle on Amazon.com today. There are reports that Tina Knowles and her husband, actor Richard Lawson, have separated after eight years of marriage. And the handwriting was on the wall for this relationship four years ago when Tina Knowles emasculated her husband during an interview. I envisioned the type of man I wanted. I prayed for the type of man I wanted. And I got pretty much that. Is he perfect? Absolutely not. But, you know, no. he has a lot of the qualities. No. no. He has a lot of the qualities that, uh, that I love. And we're having a really good time. And I'm enjoying life. So there is hope, women. Now, what's fueling the speculation about Tina Knowles and Richard Lawson separating are the reports that Tina Knowles is no longer going by her married last name, Tina Knowles Lawson, and is going by just Tina Knowles. And what also is fueling the speculation is the fact that Tina Knowles has been seen at multiple events, such as the wedding of Jay-Z's mother, all by herself. Now, this second marriage to the former wife of Destiny's Child's manager was destined to fail because Tina Knowles was still dealing with unresolved issues with her ex-husband, Matthew Knowles. Now, it's reported that Matthew Knowles and Tina Knowles wound up divorcing because Matthew Knowles allegedly had an affair while he was still married to Tina Knowles, and that would leave a major bruise on a woman's ego. And with Tina Knowles being one of these light-skinned, attractive black women who had a high social marketplace value when she was in her prime, seeing her husband have an affair while she was involved with him, that would leave a major bruise on her ego because she would think that because of her light skin and attractiveness that her high social marketplace value would lead to her having a, excuse me, husband who would not go out here and want to cheat on her. Now, this is what possibly is leading to Tina Knowles having that bruise on her ego. And because women are emotional, what happens is when they get a bruise on an, their ego like this, is they wind up becoming extremely insecure. And because they wind up becoming extremely insecure, when they look to go out here and find another man to get involved with, what they're looking to do is not looking to find somebody to love, but looking to find assurance as related to their attractiveness and looking to find a way to reclaim their self-confidence. And that's the motivation I believe Tina Knowles had for wanting to get in a relationship with another man. She was not looking to find another partner to love her. No, she was looking to find a man who would go out here and make her feel validated about being beautiful, make her feel validated about being attractive, make her feel validated about having a high social marketplace value. That's what Tina Knowles wanted in a man. She did not want to go out here and look to be a partner who would submit to the authority of a man in a relationship. No, what she was looking to find was a man who would look to go out here and worship her. And that's basically what she was looking for in a partner. And that's what she found in Richard Lawson. Now, Richard Lawson was one of these divorcees who had already come out of a marriage. And when he possibly saw Tina Knowles coming into the social marketplace, saw his last shot at getting a light-skinned hottie, and went over to bus downtown and saw her in the 60% off pile and thought, hey, this is my final shot at getting a light-skinned hottie. And because he thought this was his last chance, he, wanted, he was desperate to go out here and get involved with Tina Knowles, not understanding that Tina Knowles was basically a lemon of a woman. 
and she was a lemon of a woman because she had multiple unresolved issues as related to her relationship with Matthew Knowles. Now, Ringo talks about how when a man and a woman go out here and have sex, what happens is that man puts his DNA inside of that woman and his spirit is released inside of her. And with Tina Knowles, she basically still has the DNA and soul ties with Matthew Knowles. And because she still has the DNA and soul ties with Matthew Knowles and still has emotional bonds with Matthew Knowles, there was no way that Richard Lawson could ever have a fully committed relationship with Tina Knowles because she was still bonded and connected to another man. And because she was still bonded and connected to another man, there was no way she could ever go out here and pair bond with Richard Lawson. No, there was no way she could go out here and connect with him on a mental, emotional, or spiritual level because she was still connected to Matthew Knowles. And that's, what, that's the foundation for why this relationship was never going to work at all. And it wasn't going to work because she could not go out here and commit to him. Moreover, Richard Lawson was not coming into this relationship like a leader, like Matthew Knowles was. No, Matthew Knowles was coming in the relationship like a leader, and he was coming in as an authority figure she would go out here and submit to, but she did not want to submit to a Richard Lawson because what she was looking for was validation and approval from Richard from. Richard Lawson. Again, she was looking for Richard Lawson to go out here and be the one who would chase her. He was. She was looking for her to go, go out here and show that she was going to be his attachment. And again, Richard Lawson was a simp in this relationship, looking to submit to Tina Knowles, looking to go out here and put her on a pedestal. But Tina Knowles was not looking to follow the lead of Richard Lawson. No, at this point, she would, she wanted to be the independent woman, and she wanted the man to be following behind her. So she was looking for a guy who would be under her and would go out here and make and try to validate her and pacify her insecurities about her getting older, her not being at the high level of the social marketplace as an attractive light-skinned woman. She needed a guy like Richard Lawson to basically be under her like a child, and she needed him to go out here and let her know that she was still attractive, she was still beautiful, she was still somebody who was a high had a high value in the social marketplace and she was somebody who would go out here and allow her to get attention this is what she wanted from Richard Lawson she basically wanted Richard Lawson to be a cheerleader for her and that's where their relationship really had a rickety foundation because again she was never really interested in having a commitment to Richard Lawson. She was never really interested in following the lead of Richard Lawson. No, what she wanted from Richard Lawson was a guy who would just put her on a pedestal and go out here and worship and idolize her. And that's what she was looking for in that relationship. And what happened with Richard Lawson is he found out as he was in this relationship simping for Tina Knowles, she found out that Tina Knowles only liked the attention she was receiving from him. She liked the press that she got from marrying him. She liked the people talking about her on media and social media, but she never really had any sort of respect for him. And this is a mistake that many beta males make as related to relationships. Many beta males go out here and they think that because a woman likes them and pays attention to them, 
they actually have a relationship of some kind with this woman and they think that because this woman is paying them attention that they can go out here and have some sort of commitment but if you are out here com investing more in the relationship with the woman than the woman is investing in you what is happening is she is seeing you as somebody she doesn't really need to care about and she doesn't need to care about you because you care too much about her and that makes her see your value as less than and she learns not to go out here and see you as somebody who needs to be respected or regarded and that's what happened in that interview back four years ago what happened in that interview four years ago is that we see that tina knowles basically did not have any respect for Richard Lawson and we see that she had no respect for him because in that interview she talked all about herself but never really talked about her husband and showed him the respect that a man is supposed to receive in a relationship because when a woman is in a relationship with a man and she's respecting him she talks about him practically all the time and she talks about him positively and in most cases you can't get a woman to shut up about a man that she respects she'll be talking about him all the time and not talking about herself like what tina knowles was doing tina knowles basically saw richard lawson as being in the background of a relationship like a small child and she basically emasculated him because she did not see him as a man no she didn't even see him as anybody she regarded or respected and that's what that's what happened to richard lawson and you saw his face completely change when he found out he was not the man in the relationship but he was basically in a place lower than a pet dog because all Tina Knowles saw with Richard Lawson was a child as related to a person in the relationship. She saw somebody that she didn't need to respect or regard. And I would say she's less than a child. She saw him like a pet dog. And again, this is what happens to guys because the woman does not respect the man who's out here pandering to her. And she doesn't respect him because this is all about her just getting her ego sated. And that's all that relationship was all about, restoring Tina Knowles' shattered self-confidence. It was all about restoring her, um, broke, her bruised ego and healing her bruised ego. And a lot of guys, they don't really understand this. They'll go out here thinking, hey, I got a shot at a hot woman, not understanding this woman was already damaged and broken mentally and emotionally. And if she's broken mentally and emotionally, there is no way you can go out here and have a relationship with her. That's the, one of the risks that guys take when they get out here with divorced women and why I say guys should never get involved with a divorced woman because a divorced woman in most cases is dealing with a broken heart. Moreover, in many cases, she's dealing with a with a lot of spiritual soul ties and DNA from that other man. And because she's got bonds with that other man, that's what's giving her a lot of emotional baggage. And all of that emotional baggage makes it where she can never go out here and fully commit to you. Because most of these divorced women have double minds. And because they have double minds, that means they are committed to another man. I mean, spiritually, they already are connected to that husband. Their DNA and spirit are connected to that man while their mind is out here looking to get attention from you. So this is the mistake that many guys go out here and do when they get involved with divorced women. They actually think they got a shot, but you never had a shot at any sort of serious commitment. And you never had a shot at any sort of serious commitment because she was already bonded to another man. So you're sitting there thinking, oh, I got a shot at this woman, but this woman really is with you because she's overcompensating. She's feeling insecure about the failure of her past relationship. And because she's feeling insecure about the 
failure of her past relationship, she wants to go out here and rebuild her self-confidence by getting your attention. And even if she goes out here and goes out here and drops the skid mark Vanity Fair bloomers and allows you to even put the carbon rod in the atomic waste reactor, she really isn't committed to you. This is all about making herself feel better. And as she's looking to make herself feel better, she's not really caring about you. All she cares about is the kind of the way that she is made to feel about having another man pay attention to her. Again, she's not committed to you in any way, shape, or form, and she's not looking to commit to you. She's looking to go out here and get that boost to her ego, and that's what Tina Knowles was looking for. And that's when I look at Tina Knowles, it's a textbook case of why a man doesn't go out here and get involved with a divorced woman because a divorced woman already is again somebody who's bonded to another man and if she's bonded to another man has baggage with another man has issues with another man has problems with another man and is still constantly thinking about another man then how can she go out here and focus on you critical question most guys who get out here and get involved with divorced women don't want to answer because they're thinking they got a shot at a at a fly girl who they still imagine as the fly girl from the old days and they're not seeing the busted broken down woman who she is right now and again thinking i got a shot at something when you never had a shot at all no she's basically using you to go out here and again sate her ego and have her fun and then once she has her fun she's going back to go out here with another dude who she really is interested in or even possibly going back to the husband and if he's around and or the ex-boyfriend and smashing him and and getting all of the real pleasure that she wants to get from him so i look at this whole situation with tina knowles and again richard lawson couldn't see the handwriting on the wall but the handwriting was on the wall four years ago with their relationship after she emasculated him and showed him that she did not see him as a man. No, she saw him as a joke, and she basically was just using Richard Lawson as a way to go out here and rebuild her self-confidence, and sadly, Richard Lawson couldn't see that he was basically a tool. He couldn't see that he was a tool that, that Tina Knowles was using, and as because he couldn't see her as the tool, he wound up with a relationship with the former Destiny Child's um, manager's mother that was destined to fail from day one. Now, if you want to learn how to avoid winding up in situations like Richard Lawson, you can pick up my book, Why 70% of Black Women Are Single, on Amazon.com. And this book will go in depth on why so many black women like Tina Knowles are single and why many of these women will wind up single for the rest of their lives. And if you want to learn why so many women like Tina Knowles are struggling out here as related to maintaining a relationship, you can also pick up my book, The Woman Crisis, on Amazon. Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. You can also find it at other online booksellers like Smashwords, the iBookstore, Google Play, and Barnes and & Noble. And if you want to see me make more videos about celebrities, you can send a donation to my Patreon, my PayPal, or my Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available for the first time in paperback, why 70% of black women are single. Learn all the reasons why so many black women can't find a husband and why 70% of black women are single. Get your copy of Why 70% of Black Women Are Single on Amazon.com today. Support black-owned and black-operated digital broadcast media. www.niceradionetwork.com Nice Radio Network, broadcasting 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.